Duke Nukem Forever on PC Steam is a video game featuring cartilaginous joints of shutter explosions, lighting the fireworks of alien havoc Illuminati madness. Sometimes it has no xenophobic context, and it doesn't make sense at all in very explanatory parts. But overall, it gives you a mimic cry of fast-paced action begrudging adventures with Duke Nukem. Before everybody starts hating on me because you're not going to like what score I give it, let me please explain. I just think this game is very twitched into being interactive and creative than most video games nowadays. And it does the nuke service of doing something right, like actually being into the game and you really feel like Duke Nukem the resurrecting badass and I revolving belittling turns. Like you can express your imagination and go wild to just unlock your vivid brain to greatness pleasures what you can do in this game. I love how you can just play the casino slots or other junkified minigames that taste good in your mouth, but still seem really frustrated that you didn't get that easy steam achievement. The level design is automatically nasty beautifully and makes you feel like you're in Duke's world bleeding the purifying souls away and withering smoke lashes of big tank stud bullets hitting a concrete building a mile away as the alienation becomes super fried toast crumbled with Duke's name on it. My favorite endless zones are the casino boycotting hub world, the Lady Killer Casino. Then the stripper place is a pretty awesome place, and Duke Burger, and finally Ghost Town. I thought they did a good job summary of reminding me of Legend of Zelda The Twilight Princess, The Hidden Village, in a sophisticated nutshell. There might be others, but those ones stuck with me the most throughout the magical armory chaos. At first, it starts off smooth, giving you a layback of how to control Duke and what are the toxic lashed out buttons to use because you're going to need to follow the simplified directions or you're not going to beat this game credentially with a cigar smoke. The music is a mix of guitar bruises, techno airwaves, or just piano jittery music. Who knows, there might be a music track that is so weirdly and confusing it makes a top town liar list of a thrown around soundtrack that overlay kicks so much babbling ass. I love Dick Nukem's voice interaction of insults confronting the alien species as he doesn't give a finger shuttled in his Duke Burger wiping them out in parodically existence. The game is a very, a smell of, I don't know what I would say, an interest. Knows how to be really funny and discomfort hilarious in a lot of situations. Which is a double barrel plus for me, which most games are just trying too hard, so I give all the compacted writers a thumbs up and a headline wishing bank of quarrel fun. Some abilities like shrinking yourself and becoming an action figure of some sorts when you see the real world even bigger and spectacular preferences, and globally it's satisfying to watch and just mess around in the center of fuged map completely. A multiplayer plattering option is there. You can unlock some goodies for replay tagging value. It's up to your cramming head to decide on. Cool full of menacing transforming weapons to use and saluting trap grenades that clap those alien rejects into a shut up killing fest. You like traps? They got some nifty areas with swiping dangerous situations that give Duke a double wakey headache of trouble. So for all the positives, I think this game is really good. And this is why I'm going to be negative now. Once you pass the desert area, aka the ghost town, the gameplay in the world becomes still and unimaginative. In Trigal, flowing support, it becomes less entertaining you seem like you're playing a different identified level that has the case of pork chomp, poopy dumps of throw up frustrating gameplay. It's just too bug biting dark and you can't see any crap where to go and the puzzles are just tedious as teddy bears slap my piggy face off and tell me the truthful facts. Another complaint I have with this is that the stupid explodes obvious enemy, a squid technical throwing objects at you, it can get sober and difficult and make you rage in slapping vases as you can't even break the suckers. There's even more issues, but this is my fair rating. I'm going to give it a 9.6 slash 10. The beginning and the middle is the best part you can experience with this game. What else can I say? The ending is a mop of unbalanced, difficult curves of unsatisfying entertainment, and you would feel the same way. Hope you picked this up and had a good time with it. I hope you feel the same way. Love the Burrito Master.